Hey guys, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans, and today I want to show you around this Sprinter 144 4x4 that we just wrapped up. You'll notice that this Sprinter is somewhat similar to our rentals layout, um, but they've made a few personal touches along the way. So as we step into this van, you'll notice a cutout here. This is a little cubby to put dirty shoes so you don't have to track mud into the van. And then additionally, we have a nice exterior happy hour table here that just drops down like that. Once we step inside, we'll talk about some of the design features and the overall layout. Welcome inside. So when it comes to layout in this rig, you'll see that we have a nice lengthy dinette on the driver's side of the vehicle. We have our kitchen area here on the passenger side, and then all the way in the rear, we have our fixed raised bed. When it comes to design features, we have a cork core flooring down here. So that's gonna be nice and soft, lightweight for this rig. Up top, we have maple cabinetry, so all of this is going to be slab door cabinetry, has a nice pull on it, you can open them up. RV latches so that everything stays secure while you're in transit. And then we also have gas struts on all of this for easy opening and closing. On the passenger side, we have this nice walnut butcher block countertop, so this is going to also have a 20 inch flip up countertop extension, which is a really nice feature. And then all the way in the rear here, we have just a gray upholstered fixed raised bed as well as the wall panels. And we'll get a custom um, mattress in here prior to pickup. So on the passenger or driver side of this vehicle, we have a nice dinette area. This van is designed for a family. So this bench is going to turn into the second bed also. To start, we do have some additional storage down here. Um, so nice open bin on the right and then Further back, we have the vent for our Wabasto heater. That's gonna allow this rig to be four season capable. So when you are ready to turn this into the second bed, you just flip this guy over, make sure that you have your mounting leg down, and then it turns into a nice roomy secondary bed. We'll go ahead and put this away. There we are. Moving over to the passenger side, as I said, this is where our galley is going to be. Again, we have that nice walnut butcher block countertop. We have our 15 by 20 Rabati workstation sink. And then moving a little bit further back, we have an Impava two burner induction cooktop. Underneath our sink, you'll find a seven gallon gray water tank there. And then a little bit further back, we have a 4.6 cubic foot isotherm door style fridge with a little freezer up top. When it comes to sort of ventilation and view in this part of the van, we have two CR Lawrence T vent windows. So those are gonna bring in a lot of nice natural light. And then up top, we have a max air fan over both the galley and in the rear. As we work our way all the way to the rear, you'll notice that we have these CR Lawrence half slides on both sides. Those are in the flare space as well. So. This van has a little bit more room for width-wise sleeping, um, and then they have those nice windows for some cross breeze. Um, additionally, you'll notice that there's some netting back there. That is going to ensure that when they open the rear doors once parked, bedding's not gonna fall out, so you're not gonna lose your um, pillow into a puddle. I think a lot of us have probably experienced that in van life. Um, and then we just have a nice hard part partition between the living area and the garage, which I'll show you from the back. Um, but that just makes it so that any gear that gets thrown back there, it's not going to come flying in here or stink up the rest of the place. When it comes to lighting, you'll notice that we have dimmable LED overhead dome lights down the center. We have our under cab lights, and then we also have some toe kick lights down the center of the vehicle. Lastly, just when it comes to power, you'll notice that we have a Victron Bluetooth energy monitor or battery monitor. So that's gonna keep track of our batteries at all times, um, keep track of how much is coming in through our solar so that they can make sure to use their power systems accordingly. Let's check out the back. So in the back of this van, as you'll notice, we have a ton of room for gear storage down the center. This is where we are going to store our table. So that table can be mounted in the dinette in the main part of the vehicle, but when you're not using it or when you're using it as a bed, it's nice to have a designated place to store it away. You'll notice l track down the side of the wall so they can add all sorts of D-rings and other storage solutions down the road. And then we've utilized that l track to make a little storage system for their dry flush toilet on this driver's side. 
Additionally, on the driver's side, we'll find our exterior shower. Ad additionally, in this side, we'll have our 30 gallon fresh water tank. And then moving over to the passenger side, we'll have our electrical systems. So in there, you'll find 340 amp hours of AGM super cycle battery, 3000 watt inverter, and 200 watts of solar. Go ahead and close that down. And that wraps up this van. I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a van tour. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.